it's time to go back to the program. Let's have a look at some useful expressions for talking about politics. Look at this expression. Long-term policies. Política a largo plazo. Are politicians interested in long-term policies? You should know by now that no politician is going to thank you for long-term policies. We do nothing, absolutely nothing, unless it benefits us at the next election. A menos que nos beneficie en las próximas elecciones. Qué actitud más cínica. Of course, elections are very important to politicians. Let's look at some other vocabulary associated with politics. Listen out for the English expressions for these Spanish words. Sondeos de opinión. La oposición. Votantes. Y gobernar el país. Claire, have you seen the latest opinion polls? Opinion polls. Sondeos de opinión. Yes, minister. The opposition have over 50%. The opposition. La oposición. Yes. When voters were asked if they thought that this government was capable of running the country, only 30% said yes. Voters. Los votantes. And running the country significa gobernar el país. But now, back to our story. We're going to hear about the day Claire decided she had had enough. El día que Claire decidió que ya no podía aguantar más. Here's a question first. Listen carefully to Tom and Gino. Who is an idealist? Who is a pragmatist? Then she told me about the day she had had enough. What's this? It's my letter of resignation, Minister. I can see that. Why? Because I didn't take up your suggestions for government policy? No. Then why? Minister, before I came to this department, I read all the speeches you made about democracy when you were a young man. Oh, interesting. You said the job of the politician is to serve the people and not to serve himself. Yes, well, a politician also has to look after his own interests. You said politicians had to have ideals. Ideals? <laughs> I'm a pragmatist. You promised to serve the ordinary person in the street. Well? I saw a film of your first election speeches. I believed every word that you said. And strangely enough, so did I at the time. I thought you were wonderful. <laughs> I was rather good looking in my youth. <laughs> When I watched the film, I didn't just love your speeches. You mean? I mean, I admired your ideals and your honesty. You really seemed to believe in what you were saying. You really wanted to help people. Yeah, you're right, I did. You did, I know. But now you've changed. Why? I don't know, Claire. I don't know. Perhaps I've been in politics too long. Perhaps I'm tired. Perhaps it's time for me to give it all up. No, Minister, it isn't time to give up. But perhaps you should think more about what you believed in when you were young, when you started out. Claire, I'll look again at your suggestions for changes to departmental policy. I'm glad. But I'm still resigning, I'm afraid. I want to change my career. I understand. Could you stay for a little longer? Help me work on this policy document. Anyway, Claire stayed for a while longer, but she did resign. She wants to be a journalist. In fact, she's applied for a job on the Echo. That's good news, isn't it? That's wonderful. Well, I hope she doesn't expect us to be idealists. Perhaps some of us are, Tom. 
Gino sounds like an idealist. Tom's a pragmatist. Now, when you're talking about politicians, it's very useful to be able to report what they say. We're going to think particularly about the things that politicians promise to do, prometen hacer, and refuse to do, se niegan a hacer. Here's an example. I will serve the ordinary person in the street. Let's see how Claire reported that promise. You promised to serve the ordinary person in the street. You promised to serve the ordinary person in the street. I won't listen to anything you say. He refused to listen to anything she said. He refused to listen to anything she said. Let's practice that. Listen to the minister and then report what he says with he promised to or he refused to. I will serve the ordinary person in the street. He promised to serve the ordinary person in the street. I won't listen to anything you say. He refused to listen to anything she said. I will cut taxes. He promised to cut taxes. I won't discuss long-term policies. He refused to discuss long-term policies. I'll give you a better job if you stay. He promised to give her a better job if she stayed. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you'll join us for our next programme. We'll be talking more about politics. See you then. Bye. Thank you.